Okay, everybody. Can everybody take a seat, please, so we can get started? Yay! All right. Okay, everybody, I know there's a lot, a lot of excitement. I intentionally hid until the moment it was to start because I'm just so nervous, which the year four students know I'm ridiculous since I actually know everything and the results, but I still am so, so unusually nervous um, and I'm excited. I think that's what it really is and I'm so proud of everybody. So good morning, everyone. I am Dr. Jennifer Caceres. I am the Senior Associate Dean for Student Affairs and Admissions here at the FAU Schmidt College of Medicine. <laughs> it is with great pleasure that I welcome all of you to Match Day 2023. <laughs> to begin, I want to thank all of you, our students, our families, our friends, staff, and faculty for joining us today in this very special occasion and what I consider really a momentous celebration of our students. We are also very fortunate to have many distinguished guests in our audience today. Some are in person while others are joining us virtually. We would like to acknowledge the FAU Board of Trustees and the College of Medicine Advisory Board with special thanks to our chair, Dr. Michael Dennis, who has been with us from the very beginning. We also... <laughs> We also want to take a moment to recognize interim president Stacey Volnick for her continued support of the College of Medicine. Thanks. And then I think most importantly, aside from our graduates, of course, um, our wonderful, successful alumni who are either here today or joining us virtually as well in the celebration. So I want to start off before addressing the class of 2023 to let the families and friends know that our success today is really a result of not just one or two people even, but really a village. So I'd ask all of you, um, and on behalf of all of you, of our students, staff, and administration to thank our staff who have worked tirelessly to really support all of us through this entire journey. And this part, I think some of the directors are going to get mad at me for, but I'm just going to do it. One, because we're so excited. I think the more we get to scream and cheer, the less we're going to feel nervous and anxious with all this energy. So I actually want to start off by calling out um, the, the directors of all the different staff units who have really made this possible. Starting back, if you all remember that really, really important call you got years ago from our one and only Miss Monica Lopez. <laughs> Representing, <laughs> representing our admissions team, all, an entire team. And then really, really quickly after you got in, you probably realized you need to become friends with our financial aid office because let's face it, medical school is quite an investment, a very worthwhile investment. So thank you to our financial aid office, Dr. Ellen, uh, Dr. <laughs> Ms. Ellen Gomes, our director for financial aid. <laughs> and... And then before you knew it, you were right into medical school, studying harder than you probably thought you were even capable of. You really, really kind of immersed yourself in that education to achieve academic excellence. And you couldn't have done that without our directors of year one, two, three, and four. So Ms. Mavis Brown and Ms. Lacey Sorrentino. <laughs> She's already saying, no, 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 don't do it. But because she just did that, I'm going to do this. So welcome to the stage for a round of applause to represent our entire Office of Student Affairs, our Director of Student Affairs, Ms. Joanna Durant. Don't hide behind the television. <laughs> She's going to kill me for that later. She specifically says, you know how I hate that. So you know what happens. Don't tell me what you don't like. <laughs> you know what will happen. So. Now off to our wonderful class of 2023. After the last three to four years, you have really learned all that you could. You pushed yourself beyond your comfort zones to achieve excellence in all areas, not just academically. You devoted yourself beyond the classroom and gave back to your community. 
And you managed to accomplish this all despite what I never thought I would be saying when you were applying for medical school, but despite a pandemic, right? That was a concept we never really dreamed we'd be thinking about. Um, but you did that um, despite all of the challenges. You dealt with multifaceted uncertainties, some fears within and beyond our own nation. And all in the meanwhile, you still continued with your passion, your dedication. You developed lifelong bonds with your friends here now, your classmates, your staff, your faculty. So right now, today, you're sitting around the very own family that you developed here at the College of Medicine. And I know you're all really anxiously awaiting the result of all this hard work, but rest assured, you all made it. Every single one of you will be celebrating today, as you can see the envelopes on the sides. And believe it or not, in only about one month, we, many of us here, will have the great honor watching you walk across the stage as you're hooded, and we get to call you doctor for the very first time. Your, your dream of wanting to become a doctor will become your reality, your success, and your right now. So how wonderful it would be. Class of 2023, I am truly so very proud of each and every one of you. And thank you so much for letting me be part of your journey. So soon the match results are gonna be revealed, probably not soon enough for you, but please bear with us a little bit longer because we have some really wonderful speakers here today who I'd like to introduce and wanna share with you in this special occasion. At this time, it is my great pleasure to introduce my friend, my colleague, the Vice Dean for Medical Education, Dr. Sarah Wood. All right. Welcome everyone on this incredibly exciting day. Well, class of 2023, you did it. You made it, yes, woo! As I told you at the very beginning, time would fly, and it certainly has. Despite pandemics, hurricanes, and so many unique and unprecedented circumstances over the past few years, you have not only survived, but you have thrived. Seeing you all here together today, having accomplished so much, I'm incredibly proud of how you have navigated all of it. It has been truly inspiring to me to watch you rise to every occasion. And I know if you can handle everything that was thrown at you during medical school, you can certainly manage residency and anything that's thrown at you today while you open those envelopes. And wow, have you guys been busy? 5K races, cytokine concerts, and seven couples? <laughs> and wait, how many babies do you guys have you had? I think I heard nine during med school and maybe 15 total. Is that true? Oh my gosh. Um, so you have definitely made the most of your time in medical school, personally and professionally. So uh, match day is one of the most unique and nerve wracking rites of passage in the journey to becoming a doctor. Every physician in this room can recall their match moment and we all empathize profusely with the inevitable butterflies. It is an exciting day filled with hope and promise and opportunity but also great apprehension. I know you won't recall one word of what I, am have, what I say right now, but I know this moment and this experience will be indelibly imprinted in your memory forever. Today, surrounded by your close friends, family, loved ones, and of course the FAU faculty and staff, I see a lot of emotional eyes in the crowd. I usually look for Dr. Michelle, yes. <laughs> the tears are coming. Um, I hope you feel the profound love, pride, support, and excitement that we all have for you. Remember that no matter what lies within your envelope today, the future and how you rise to meet it exists within you. The knowledge and skills you have developed, as well as the accomplishments you have had during your time here at FAU, are badges of honor that you will carry with you wherever you head next. Treasure the relationships and friendships that have supported you during your time here as they will continue to do so as your careers in medicine advance. 
It's hard for me not to get emotional as I reflect back on seeing all of you as brand new first years at your white coat ceremony, then watching you transition successfully into your clerkships and hearing your excited updates about national presentations, away rotations, publications, and residency interviews. I have witnessed the tremendous growth in each of you as you have transformed before my eyes. Watching you learn, grow, serve, and lead has been my distinct honor. I'm extraordinarily proud of what each of you has achieved, and this envelope is just the beginning. I have no doubt that you will go on to the residencies in those envelopes and be critical thinkers, patient-centered problem solvers, lifelong learners, and healthcare leaders. You have such bright futures ahead of you, and I know you will continue to be wonderful ambassadors for our very special College of Medicine. I know you're all gonna make me proud. I'm gonna watch your careers closely, and I will just say, please stay in touch and remember that this is your FAU family. And no matter what challenges you face, in the words of Maya Angelou, nothing can dim the light that shines within each of you. So please accept my heartiest congratulations and good luck today. And you will always have my heart with you. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Wood. It is now my great pleasure to call to the podium the elected member of the class of 2023 <laughs> to address the audience, Ms. Abby Temple, soon to be doctor. Well, hi, friends. How are we doing? Are we nervous? Yeah. Yeah, me too. It's fine. Nothing like a little anxiety to bring the energy for a speech. Good catch, Sunny. Good catch. Knew we could account on you are attending. Um, but as I was preparing to speak to you all today, I had an absolute blast reflecting on the last four years. Um, the wind is getting me too. Um, I feel like we've enjoyed countless hilarious memories together, literally starting from day one when Zach managed to spill his entire water bottle all over himself during orientation and then get up and tell us all about it with the confidence that he has. We loved it. Um, can't forget Ben eating his protein bar at exactly 9 a.m. every single morning without fail. I hope you still did it during rounds because kudos to you. Um, or even Nico's bark to hype us all up for exams, or if none of you are familiar, what he did right before I got on stage, and we'll likely do at 11.59 today. And of course, I would be remiss not to mention the infamous pandemic lecture Dr. Smith gave in January of 2020, where we all made insane plans that were not realistic, and all I can say is luckily nobody found those plans, because little did we know that a few months later, we would go through our entire second year virtually due to COVID, and that when we did return, we would have to wear spacesuits to Sim Center and try to make connections with our patients at Sim Center um, pretty unsuccessfully through our foggy face shields. And over the years, we've grown so much as a class. We've watched so many of our classmates fall in love, including the 15 people who are participating in the couples match today, myself included. So we've also welcomed many new engagements and marriages and have grown to love our classmates' significant others like they are our own. And we also saw, a, like Dr. Wood mentioned, maybe a record amount, of baby, record amount of babies added to our class. I mean, nine babies is insane. And our class's first twins, bravo, days before step. Still can't believe you did it. It's amazing. Kudos to you guys. And honestly, congratulations and bravo to all of our parents. I simply cannot imagine having to sustain another life during this process. I mean, our roommates couldn't even sustain a fish. And we tried three times. So, like, you guys are amazing. That's fantastic. Um, I'd like to also take a moment to thank all of our friends and family that helped us survive the last four years. Yeah. Thank you so much for dealing with our panicked late night phone calls and limited availability and for helping us craft appropriate Zoom environments for PBL and being mostly quiet during our exams and all the sessions that we attended. And thank you so much for the little moments of joy you provided us through this journey that helped us get here. I mean, families that can't even claim us as dependents on their taxes literally took us in to make sure we had a moment of joy. Looking at you, Fiedler, Weinberg, and Conine families. We love you. <laughs> 
And thank you to the faculty for mentoring and guiding us through this rigorous process. To Dr. Trelka, who managed to get us so excited about pathology that the portal triad is still our group me picture to this day. To Dr. Foster, who I'm pretty sure could convince an orthopod that calculating maintenance fluids is not worthy of an IM consult. <sighs> and to Dr. Caceres and Dr. Gunderson for, an for answering so many panicked emails in the ERAS process. And to all the other teaching faculty and staff, thank you so much for tirelessly pouring into us on a daily basis to prepare us for this moment and for the next year. And finally, to my classmates. Um, I wanna first congratulate Abby and Shimron who have already matched and are amazing. <laughs> Our urologist and ophthalmologist forever. We're only slightly jealous of the, of the stress-free bliss you've been living for a month, but uh, we'll be there in about 10 minutes, so that's exciting. Um, and I can't even express to, um, can't even begin to express the love that I have for all of you. Um, it's, it's making me emotional now, but um, sorry. But you know, it's like a person that was moving out of state and like really moving away from her home and her significant other um, for the first time. It, um, it was really hard and um, you guys became my family. So thank you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Didn't expect that, sorry guys. Um, yeah, so my time's running out though, so I need to get off the stage. Um, <laughs> But I just wanna leave you with one thing. Um, at our white coat ceremony four years ago, Dr. Gunderson um, encouraged us to remember to take off our white coats and uh, remember our humanity. And like, you know, I know that being a future physician is a massive part of who we are. Um, and we've worked so many hours and so hard to get to this moment. Um, but I just encourage you all, like as you open your envelopes and find out where we're going, um, that you take off your metaphorical white coat um, and enjoy this day with the people who came out to support each and every one of us. But um, I just want to say we all deserve every ounce of good that will come to us over the next three to seven years. And I cannot wait to see the incredible physicians and residents you're all going to be because I just can't wait to send my families and kids and everyone to you. So with that said, we got this. We're going to do it. Yay. Happy match. <laughs> Thank you, Abby. It really is such an amazing place to be. Not, I'm so happy to know that that's how students feel about our school. Um, really, the faculty and the staff feel equally as strong, which is just a great reminder today of why we're all here and why we continue to do what we do. Um, it is now my distinct honor to introduce our dean, Dr. Julie Pulitzis. She's also the vice president of medical affairs at Florida Atlantic University. Being the first woman neurosurgeon to become a dean, Dr. Politzis, woohoo! <laughs> oversees the college's innovative medical student and graduate medical education programs in partnership with a consortium of regional hospitals. Dr. Politzis is also a board certified practicing neurosurgeon. She's a very, very busy woman who is a national expert in multidisciplinary pain and movement disorders, including Parkinson's disease. As vice president of health affairs, Dr. Politzis is leading the FAU Health Network Initiative. Under her stewardship, FAU Health Network is well positioned to promote premium academic healthcare to the community while addressing the challenges of the shortages of the medical workforce within our region. Guided by the vision of the community for the community, Dean Politzis' compassionate care for patients permeates to the communities in the regions where she continues to tackle complex health challenges and create meaningful change. Please join me in welcoming Dean Politzis to the podium. Good morning, class of 2023. You made it. You survived medical school, a pandemic, all these away rotations, your virtual, uh, virtual interviews and signaling. You made it through three deans in just as many years. <laughs> and you persevered and remained positive and dedicated every step of the way. 
as we count down the final minutes, you know, I think uh, Vice Dean Wood had pointed out that nobody was listening. I can tell you nobody's listening right now or won't remember. Um, you know, I'd like to just talk a little bit on what we've done since we did uh, last match day together. That was a blur for me. Um, and it was just so memorable because of everything that you all have done together. This is a really special place, and this has become increasingly clear to me over the last year. Not a person doesn't feel the way that Abby talked about. Um, you know, and as I go out into the community, I see that more and more from the students to the parents, to the grandparents, to the friends. Everybody knows that we have something special here. The staff, the faculty, the leadership. It's really important that we maintain what we're doing here to teach doctors. You guys are the best. I go out into the community. People are so excited to have you in their clinics and to work with you. People are so excited to have you in their residency programs because they know that you are going to be a good doctor if you come out of FAU. They also know that you're going to be a good person. You know, I think just in terms of speaking of what you do for one another and what we all do for each other, we really do have the secret sauce here and we're excited to keep keep that secret sauce going. You may have heard that we're going to get a little bit bigger over the coming years. And, you know, people have said to me, are you sure you really want to do this? And, you know, I think that we've been a small but mighty group and we're not talking about going crazy. You know, there's some of those medical schools that have 300, 400 people. And I get how that gets lost. We're talking about about hundred people. And I really think with the people that we have here and the energy and the love of the community and the the love of everybody for what they do and all of you as alums. Um, this is something that not only can we do, but we have to do so that people in South Florida and throughout the, the country can benefit from everything that we have here and we really can pay this forward. Community is at the forefront of FAU and our role in the College of Medicine. And we need to maintain our singular focus on that and become or be of the community and for the community. It'll be fine. We got this. Just you don't see anything here. They're gonna get it all taken care of. We always got your back and this just shows this and you know, you will always have a place here in the College of Medicine. And you know, I think that Dr. Wood focused on the fact that you can always find that strength um, within yourself. And we've worked really hard to build up that feeling of strength that you're going to have within yourself, but you also have something else. There are times, no matter how strong you are inside, that you have moments of self-doubt. We all have them. I have them several times a day. <laughs> you need to have people around you that can lift you up. And we are that people along with your families. And so you have a home here and we're so excited for you. So congratulations. We couldn't be more happy for you. And we'll get this party started as soon as Dr. Caceres tells us we can. All right, thank you, Dean Politis. So without further ado, you can't open your envelope yet. I know that probably wasn't a good starting, but that's what it says in the script. I'm gonna go into the logistics now of what you have been waiting for. So in front of the room, you will see two tables battling against the wind, apparently, to keep those envelopes there. They contain your envelopes, the you, you have matched envelopes from the NRMP. So as the clock continues to approach noon, um, as we get to about a minute's time, we'll ask that the class stand and move to their tables, um, just as we are a family, instead of just putting them in alphabetical order. Oh, yay! <laughs> They're so excited, those envelopes. Um, they were placed in an order in which the students decided who they wanted to be next to. So, you know, we don't put things in alphabetical order. The families evolve themselves naturally within the college. So table one may need to get there a little bit earlier to find where their envelope is. Table two seems like just a couple, but they're still there. Um, so just 
go with it. But the envelopes are there. Um, after the noon time strikes, we're going to be counting down with you um, as starting from 10 down, and you'll get to open your envelopes. It's really an amazing time. We kind of, you hear silence and then screaming. It's really a unique experience, like complete dead silence and then ah so it's so much fun um after students uh, are able to kind of finish celebrating hugging you'll see that there's glass um bowls or vases or mason jar i'm not sure what that is um yeah it's a mason jar put your you have a a name in the envelope just put your name in there if you'd like to come up here and announce where you have matched we encourage all of you to do that because i hope that you celebrate that matching in itself is really the number one success um, and then you can come up here and share that with the group uh, after everybody has sat back down and kind of calmed down we'll call randomly through this basket your name so you can share with everybody as we celebrate this is probably the other thing that if you've watched other match days that the, the class is excited about. This is the money bowl. So anybody who wants to contribute can. It's so it goes straight to the last person whose name is taken out of the basket. And theoretically, they can do what they want with it. But traditionally, the class is counting on you to use that to celebrate after today so you can all go out and have a party. Um, so as you come up, you know, please, if you can, the classmates and anyone else in the audience to help our students have their own separate private um, celebration that is healthy and wholesome, right? <laughs> so we, this is where like, we're so on time, we're early, and now I have to make up some stuff to talk about. <laughs> um, what's that? Oh, photo ops, perfect. So please, this is almost like graduation. As you come on the stage to your, the left. So when you come up, you'll come up on this side and you can actually, right? Yeah, put the pins. We'll have some people here uh, where you can pin where you've matched um, after you've announced where you have matched to the group. And then you also have opportunities to, of course, take pictures with everybody. So we still have, is that two? Three minutes. All right. What can I say? That's so inspiring that you won't even remember anyway. So a joke. I'm not funny. I'm not funny. <laughs> There's things. I, I married a very funny man and I know my limits. So that's not one of my strengths. Um, but what I will say is in the nervous times, um, when you go through, there will be, can, you know, great successes in your future, but there will be challenges. Life happens. That's part of medicine and that's part of life. So just stay focused on why you came here to begin with. And this I actually mean, not just because I have some extra time to give you some last minute advising in my position, um, but remember what patient care means. And patient care means more than just the patient itself. It means caring for you for yourself, for your family, so that you can ultimately really take care of that patient at best. When politics come into play, all the world issues, just remember you came into medical school. Are you laughing because I'm struggling with coming up? With <laughs> I'm like, somebody else come up here. <laughs> Why don't you, because we need a little bit of time, why don't but the class come over here and look for that. <laughs> If Dean Politzis and Vice Dean Wood can come up to the stage also, so we can count down together. All right, less than a minute. I like that one about the foster and the maintenance. We can use that one next time. A little too much time. They're holding their envelopes. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open your envelopes.
If you want to announce your name, guys, please put it in. Anybody else, if you want to announce, please put your, come over here and put your name in. You can't hear me. Nobody can hear me. What? We're going to get started on announcing where you matched. Give me your name here. All right, guys. Let's start with the announcements. It's still too puffy. Did you put your name in? You want to grab your seats? We're about to get started, everybody. Congratulations. There you go. All right, everybody. Can everybody grab a seat so we can start letting the students announce? It's not effective. All right, everybody. Let's go back to your seats. Everybody back to your seats. Did you give me the card already? Poster. Oh. Okay, everybody, let's get started. All right. Students, families. Okay. All right, everybody, if you can grab your seats back. Okay, everybody, we're gonna get started. Table number, what is that, two? Is that two? All right. <laughs> it is. He's so nervous. Okay. Dr. Wood, Dr. Michelle. All right, everybody. Does everybody give us their names? Graduates, can you grab your seats? Guys. All right, this is the most exciting part where every the students who want to can come up here and announce. Okay, guys, they're so happy. <laughs> Look at Dr. DeCorsia. <laughs> All right, everyone. Okay, so why don't we start off with just a large round of applause for everybody for a great match. Woo! So on the stage with me is, of course, Dean Politsis, Vice Dean Wood, Dr. Michelle, who is our Director of Health First. And I'd also like to invite up to the stage our Deans for Medical Education, Dr. Bertola and Dr. DeCorsia. Woo! All right. So where is my... 
We're gonna keep putting in the money jar. So here's another hundred bucks for you guys right here. Dean Politzis is doing it. Woo! Dr. Wood. <laughs> All right. Woo! Woo! All right. So the first person getting called up today is soon to be Dr. Zach Kravitz. Where'd he go? So what happens when you give me the card at the end. You're just come on up and announce. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, hi, I'm Zach, uh, and I matched pediatrics at Yale. So. Uh, Next up is Amaris. Hi everyone, my name is Amaris and I matched up my top choice University of Miami Jackson Health System. <laughs> All right, our next person is Ben Fiedler. Hi, I'm Ben Fiedler. I'm actually in orthopedic surgery at Baylor College of Medicine. All right. Next, next up, Stephanie Bayonne. Hi, I'm Stephanie Bian, and I match medicine psychiatry at UT Southwestern. <laughs> Hold the board there. Next up, who gets to come on down is Alex Barnes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alex Barnes. I match pediatrics at University of South Florida in Tampa. Congratulations. Next up, Shad Somerville. Oh, with his baby, his youngest baby. He's got babies. <laughs> I matched anesthesiology at the University of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Joel Grunhut. Oh. Hi, I'm Joel Grunha, and I match for general surgery at University of Maryland. Woo! Okay, next up, Samantha Sugarick. Hi everyone, I'm Samantha Shagarik and I match dermatology at Stony Brook University. What's your 
And then our first couple, Emmanuel and Sarah McNeely. They're baby. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Sarah, and I match pediatrics at Memorial, so we're staying here in South Florida. And what's your name? <laughs> this is Grace. My name is Emmanuel, and I'm super excited. Been here since 2015, and I'm staying at FAU for general surgery. <laughs> One more thing. To my mentees, you can do it. Don't stop. You can't fail if you refuse to quit. Uh, next up, we have Sabina Friedman. Come on up, Sabina. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sabina Friedman, and I match pediatrics at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. Next, we have Mitch. What's up, everybody? My name is Mitch, and I matched in neurosurgery at USF, USF in Tampa. Okay. <laughs> Next is Nadia Sial. Sial, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Nadia Stial and I matched neurology at Yale. Next up, uh, Jim Pagliasetti. Hi everyone, I'm Jim Paglacetti and I'm matching the plastic surgery at USF Tampa. There it goes. Okay. Next up, Stephen Sheba. Hello everyone, I'm Master at Medicine at Medical College of Georgia. All right, next up is Nicole Levin. Hi everyone, my name is Nicole Levin and I match dermatology at Broward Health.
Next up, Layla Corey. Hi everyone, I'm Layla Corey and I matched uh, general surgery prelim here at FAU. <laughs> Lindsay Salentano. Donation. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay and I matched OBGYN at Memorial Regional. Sierra Piastre. Hi everyone, I'm Sierra. I match pediatrics at University of Pittsburgh. All right, next up we have Daniel Ramos Delgado. My name is Daniela, um, and what am I saying? Uh, I'm so uh, I'm at general surgery at Rutgers and JMS. All right, Tanya Panwala. Hi everyone, my name is Tanya Panwala and I matched in neurology at the University of Pennsylvania. Congratulations. N next, Rana Dabiri. Hi, I'm Rana, and I'm at Internal Medicine at OHSU. Next up, Danny Weinberg. Hi, my name is Daniel Weinberg. I matched internal medicine at my top choice, Medical University of South Carolina in Charleston. <laughs> Marwa Hussein. Hi everyone, I'm Marwa Hussein and I match internal medicine at the University of Rochester. Next up, Shelly Vendette. Hi, oh yes. Hi, I'm Michelle and I matched OB at Wake Forest. Jamshed Desai. 
hilarious. Hi everyone, I'm Jamshed and I matched anesthesiology at Cleveland Clinic, Florida. Next up, Abi Ahuya. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Abi Ahuja. I matched ophthalmology at the KCI Institute in Portland, Oregon. And now Isaiah and Alana. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Elena. Oh, and I'm Isaiah Herrera. And we matched, I matched into family medicine at University of Arizona, Phoenix. I matched internal medicine at University of Arizona, Phoenix. Cody Jackson. Hi, I'm Cody Jackson. I match internal medicine at OHSU in Portland, Oregon. Okay, Gregory Demerajan. Uh, my name is Greg, and I match diagnostic radiology at Louisiana State University. Carson Heron. I'm Carson, and I matched family medicine at Grant Medical Center in Columbus, Ohio. Victoria Danan. Hi, I'm Victoria, and I'm match pediatrics at Zucker Cohen Children's Hospital. <laughs> Abby Temple. Hi guys, my name is Abby Temple and I match pediatrics at Boston Children's Hospital. <laughs> All right, Monica Perdomo. You're fine. 
Oh, Hi guys, I'm Monica and I'm at Psychiatry at Columbia. Gracias, mami, papi. It's like Brianna Piawanski. Hi everyone, I'm Brianna Piwanski and I matched dermatology at the University of Minnesota. Sarah Palumbo. I've been at FAU for 10 years, and I can now say I'll be here for three more. I matched internal medicine at FAU. Sierra Conine. Oh, couple. Come on. Changed over medical school. Right? <laughs> Hi, I'm Sierra Conan, and I matched OB at Rutgers Cooperman Barnabas in Newark. And uh, I'm Matthew Zinner. I matched orthopedic surgery at Zucker School of Medicine in Long Island. <laughs> All right, next up is Taylor Van Helman. Taylor. All right, I'm Taylor Van Helmen, and I matched at my top choice in orthopedic surgery at Stony Brook on Long Island. <laughs> Ahmed Noor. Hi everyone, my name is Ahmed and I match internal medicine at University of Illinois, Chicago. And this couple I saw but couldn't catch up with, so I'm going to give a big hug when they get up here because I saw them literally in unison jumping up and down as they were hugging. So Nico and Zymery. Okay, good. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Zymery. I'm Nico. And I matched at Children's Hospital of Los Angeles in pediatrics. And I matched in emergency medicine at the University of Southern California. Next up, Bree Turner. Hi, my name is Bree Turner. And I matched internal medicine at Orlando Health. <laughs> All right, one of my chickens, Bianca Biglione. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, my name is Bianca, and I match dermatology at Brown. Monica Espinoza. And Bob O'Grady, where is he? <laughs> Hi, I'm Monica Espinosa, and I matched OB at Creighton Phoenix. Hi, uh, everyone. I'm Bob Grady. I matched into diagnostic radiology at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona. Sai Pilati. Hi, I'm Sai, and I matched uh, internal medicine at uh, uh, Hofstra and North Shore LIJ. Hi, okay. Tara Aliason. Two. Wait, I get two. Hi, I'm Tara. I matched in internal medicine at Scripps Green in. Uh <laughs> Next up, Mary Ellen Campbell. <laughs> I'm crying because I've been here a little bit longer than planned, but I'm really happy to say I'm going to be doing neurology at the University of Florida. <laughs> Jenny Durant. Jenny Durant. Hi, I'm Jenny. Um, I match pediatrics at Wake Forest. Woo! <laughs> Anthony Sanchez. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Anthony. I matched at the number one for psychiatry, Florida Atlantic University. <laughs> Uh, Gabe Lama. Oh, sorry. Anna Weiner. Sorry. I'm like, what did I do wrong? All right. <laughs> Hello, I'm Anna Wynand. I'm Gabriel Lama. And I match general surgery at Hofstra Staten Island. All right. Scott Russo.
I'm Scott, and I matched emergency medicine at Morristown Medical Center in New Jersey. Shimron Brown. Hi, I'm Shimron, and I matched urology at the University of Tennessee. So this is the last name. So if there's anybody who didn't put their name and wants to put it in, can come up here. But the official last one in the basket is Heather Tier. <laughs> So the money is going in here, but apparently it's mine. <laughs> Shout out to some of my Irishness that I have. St. Patrick's Day, it's the Irish. Um, okay, so hi everybody. My name is Heather, and I am very happy to announce. Hello. Happy to announce I matched in OBGYN at Zucker School of Medicine in South Shore, Long Island. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Who wants a baby? Because I'm going to be an OB guy in St. Petey's. Oh, you're already perfect. I believe a name was missing, found beneath some of the pile. So I'd like to thank all my classmates. I'll take good care of you tonight. Don't worry. Uh, my name's Ned. Hi, everyone. I'm going to the University of Chicago for anesthesiology. Any other missing names? Come on up. <laughs> Woo. Hello, my name is Alex. Uh, I matched IR at UMass. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyone else out there who wants to announce? All right. What's up? Uh, so what we're going to do now, before we clap and all kind of go out and celebrate, we're going to actually ask all of the class of 2023 to come up on stage. We're going to be handing out some champagne, and we're going to take a group class photo before you leave. A big round of applause to the class of 2023. Better clarify who gets the money. Maybe stay happy. Yeah, it's a good idea. Just like that.
Oh, I need a glass. Sarah. Oh, can we get a glass? Thank you. Guys, you want to get a glass over here? I think they're giving out over there. I think they're giving them all out over there and they're bringing it in. Oh, the spark? I don't know, actually. But we'll find it. Maybe you can hold it to fake it for the picture. Because <laughs> that's what I do. Yeah. A lot more. Abby, smile, Jamie. Abby, smile, Jamie. There's some on the side. Wait, I'm just okay. All right. If you guys have it, you can show it. We could do one. How about we do one? Let's do one without one way. So, can we do one photo without the sign? The sign. Okay. Okay. All right, everybody. We're going to take a photo. The first one without your sign, and then the next one could be a fun one with your sign up. Okay. Okay, the first one's going to be without the signs, okay? Cheers to the class so we can lift it all at once. So everybody, con cheers and congratulations to the class of 2023. Oh, that was, okay. We were still boring. 
for her. More wild, guys. Woo! <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, everybody. Go out and celebrate. Cheers. Cheers. It's okay. Everybody. The money will be coming with me to the wharf later tonight. So congratulations, everybody. Hello, anyone who wants to be in the team peds picture, pediatrics, and then we're going to do other disciplines afterwards. They can do a photo of both over there. Okay. Okay. Do we have everyone? No, where is that? Let's do that. <laughs> Come on. We also want all the folks going to Florida and FAU. We're going to take some pictures. But of course, internal medicine, if you match in internal medicine, please come here. So Dr. Foster and I can be super proud. You count. You count. OBGYN, your clerk director wants you all up here. <laughs> Where are all the OB ladies? Oh. OB, we're up after peds.
All right, Madison. Internal medicine. Internal medicine. Internal medicine. Internal medicine. Internal medicine.